What's going on, everybody? I'm so excited to finally get to show you some of the things that I bought during the month of November. Before I do that, though, when, whenever, whenever you guys are super generous with me, and so many of you have been so kind and so generous, and you send me something, it means a ton. It really does. And the notes that go with the gifts that people have sent me are awesome. And I wanted to show you what came in the mail today. So David, he sent me this letter that talked about how he was born in the late sixties and started collecting really in about 1975. And he collected a lot of the minis from 1975. And he, he still has the cards from his childhood collection and he has the wrappers. He found a, and then these are from when he was a kid. These are from 1975. And he found an artist who takes wrappers and turns them into coasters. So he sent a bunch of these wrappers from the 1975 and 1975 minis to this artist to have coasters made and he sent me two of them. How cool, how cool is that? I mean, these are packs he opened in 1975 as a kid, kept them, has kept them for all those years, and now he's sharing them with me. So check these out. I mean, they're coasters, right? But they're coasters made from 1975 Topps Minis packs. Oh my goodness. And the fact that he shared the story of the actual name of the store that he bought the packs from as a kid and that these are those packs. So cool. So thank you so much for that. Super, super generous. You guys continue to spoil me rotten. Now, one of the things that happened this particular month is some a commenter had said with the October pickups video, hey, could be a fun idea if you ask everybody in the community what their favorite pickup was during the month and include that in the video. And I was like, D why didn't I think of that? That's a, that's a brilliant idea. That's an awesome idea because that's, that's the point, right? That's the point of this channel is the place we all come and we all share ideas and share thoughts and share cards and share stories. So I was all in on it. And so I put it out there and I thought, you know, I might get three or four people that would send in, you know, some of their favorite pickups. And I got like 20. And, and some of the pickups are awesome. And so then I was like, okay, I don't want to have anything that I'm picking up sort of like be a shadow over what other people picked up. So because I got so many... I'm going to do that in a separate episode and I'm going to do it soon. So in the next week, I would say I'm going to bring out a video that shows the top pickups from the community, the midlife, the midlifer community of their favorite pickups of the month. Now, if you have not sent me your favorite pickup and you want to be included in that video, uh, email me a picture of your pickup with a little blurb of what you got or how you got it or what you paid or whatever you want me to share uh, by probably Tuesday of this week. So a couple of days, all right? Uh, a lot of you have sent it in. Great. If you want to be included and you haven't been sent it over yet, got a couple of days to send it to me. Email it to me at midlifecards at gmail.com. So, now I'm going to show you my pickups. Now, I didn't have a ton of pickups, but I had some that I'm super excited about and I've been waiting to share with you guys for a while because a couple of these pickups were at the beginning of the month. And, and again, what, what happened for me was when I started this channel, people would say, show off some of the cards in your collection. And I was just like, people don't want to see my cards. They want to, they want to talk about cards. They want to talk about strategies. They want to talk about the market, what's hot, what's good steal, what's a bad deal, what's a, a, an underpriced card. And then 
the more I watched of other channels, I was like, I looked forward to when people shared their collection. And I was like, oh, yeah, I get it. I, w I need to share my collection because it's fun. It's fun to see what other people have been picking up. So these are my pickups for the month of November. And a couple of, you know, for me, again, I don't have a huge budget. A couple of pretty decent, you know, pickups, pre-war pickups. I've got a couple of autograph pickups. And then I've got some, like, nostalgic childhood pickups. So a, a, a wide variety here. I hope you like it. Tell me what your favorite of my pickups from the month is. And here they are. All right. So the very first card is a card I bought on eBay for, I believe it was $9. And then I sent it off to Ron Guidry, who signs through the mail for free. And it came back. And check that out. A Ron Guidry autographed rookie card. How cool is that? Especially because he was a Yankee captain. And that's part of my Yankee captain run. Now on Whatnot, when you sign up for Whatnot, you get $15 in credit. So I used my $15 in credit during the month of November. And one of the things I bought with it was this Jose Canseco rated rookie for $10. Which I thought was a steal. Considering in 1987-88, that was about a $100 card. I had some money left over, so for like a dollar or two, I think it was a dollar, I bought this Lawrence Taylor in action card from his rookie year, 1982, and then I bought this Bo Jackson rated rookie, and I think I paid five dollars for this, so I might have gone over my $15 credit by like a buck, so for one dollar... After the credit, I got those three cards, and all I had to do was pay for shipping and taxes on whatnot. That was pretty cool. Some cards from my childhood. So then this card I got the very, very end of the month. And this is a Duke Snyder autographed Hall of Fame plaque postcard from the Baseball Hall of Fame. And I got a screaming deal on this. Well, I thought it was a screaming deal. Maybe it's not. But I was thrilled to get it. And here is a little bit of a closer look at that postcard. And at the top, the autograph. And I paid $13 for it. Now, I did have to pay shipping. I don't know. It was like 3 or 4 bucks. So all in, under $20 for that. And then I also got this Stan Musial signed Hall of Fame plaque postcard. This one is PSA authenticated. Again, you can see the back. It is a postcard they sell at the Hall of Fame. And a lot of these guys uh, during Hall of Fame weekend sign these. Not super rare, but I was thrilled to add a Stan Musial to my collection. Again, just the authentication from PSA is is close to the amount that I paid for this thing. And I paid $30. And I think that one was free shipping, if I remember correctly. So with tax and everything, I don't know, maybe 32 bucks. So that was a cool one. Then toward the end of the month, I also picked up this T205 Mordecai Brown in an SGC2. And it's really pretty well centered. The gold borders just chip and flake so easily. So there's a little bit of chipping. But for these cards, that is really pretty good. The image is terrific. The color is vibrant. I was super excited to pick this one up. I love the T205s. They're always cards on my list and here's a better look at it. Again, really good eye appeal in my in my book on that card in the SGC2. Paid $240 for that. 
which I thought was a pretty fair deal. I didn't feel like I got a great deal, but it was certainly not a bad deal. Uh, it's hard to comp those because they just come up so few and far between. Here is a 1933 Gaudi Carl Hubble rookie card in a three. Now, an SGC three. Now, the back is super clean. Um, it doesn't have a crease on it. The centering is pretty good. Side to side, especially. Top to bottom's off a little bit. Color is great. It's just really the rounded, you know, rounding on the corners of why it's a three. But I was really, really excited to pick this card up. I showed this off during my live that I did where I did the Mickey Mantle giveaway. Again, you can see it's a super clean card other than some rounding on the corners. Now, when you're talking about a guy like Carl Hubble, his cards aren't cheap, especially from a 33 Gaudi set. I paid $325 for this. I think his asking was $400, but I got him down just a bit. All right. Those were my pickups for the month. Now, I kind of cheated a little bit because the Duke Snyder, I think, was December 1st. Or it might have been the last day of November. It might have been December 1st. But over the last 30 days, really, those are my pickups. And though I didn't have a ton of pickups, right? I, I didn't, you know, I, I had a few things from that nostalgic era, right? Got it, went with the Canseco rated rookie, which was the card as a kid. You know, a Lawrence Taylor in action card from his rookie year. You know, the Bo Jackson rated rookie, that was a big card as a kid. And then a couple of autographs, right? Two of the all-time great hitters from the golden age, golden era of baseball and Duke Snyder and Stan Musial. And then a couple of pre-war cards. I mean, several different decades covered here with the T205 Mordecai Brown. And of course, that 1933 Gaudi Carl Hubble. And again, he has two of those cards. That's the one to me that I like the best. I just like the action part of it. I like the color of it. It's just the card out of the two from that set that really pops for me. So again, those are my pickups, but I'm also going to be showing off some of yours. So a couple of days. You have two days if you haven't sent me a picture of what your favorite pickup for the month is and a little explanation with it. Again, email me at midlifecards at gmail.com with that picture and I'll include it in the upcoming video of the Midlife Community pickups, favorite pickups of the month. So those were mine. What's your favorite of those? What do you think of my pickups for the month? Again, I've said this for a while. I collect a little of everything. Stuff from my childhood era. Stuff from the golden age of baseball. And pre-war is the thing that I'm really finding myself drawn to over the last six months to a year. That's it for this month. Got a couple of big cards planned. Well... At least one for the month of December. We'll talk about that soon as we discuss a different topic about consolidating our collection and selling some of our smaller things to afford some bigger things. That's coming soon. I look forward to talking about it. And I'll obviously be interested in your feedback on that idea.